Now that you know how stun gun and ECD laws pertain on a state-by-state -state basis, we're going to talk about how they are in regards to federal regulations. So if you're flying, the TSA allows you to have or carry a stun gun with your luggage, but it can't be on carry-on luggage. It has to be in checked luggage. Taser devices, unfortunately, I don't believe can be carried on an airliner because they have specific restrictions by the federal government. Just make sure that you keep your stun gun in check luggage and make sure to let TSA officials know that it is a stun gun so they don't get suspicious and get it confiscated. So for state and federal buildings, it works the same way with pepper spray. Courthouses, jails and detention centers, any federal building such as the Social Security Administration, USPS offices, and the IRS, all secure facilities you cannot bring a stun gun into. This applies to any weapon, including you know knives and everything else, unless, of course, you are a police officer that is actually stationed in the facility. And the reason that you can't export a taser specifically is because any kind of export needs to be approved by the Export Administration regulations section of the US Department of Commerce they regulate all of that stuff so unless you're like a manufacturer like Taser International themselves or uh, a supplier or retailer that actually has this type of clearance then you're not able to take it outside of the country lines can't be sold and can't be transferred unless you have that specific clearance but that's all there is to it to federal regulations in the United States. There's really not too much to it. So in the next lecture, we'll talk about regulations in other countries outside of the U.S. as it regards stun guns and taser devices.